Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today we are going to be talking about the upcoming lineup of NVIDIA graphics card, which is expecting to release sometime around the end of March and mid-April of 2018. So far we've had a lot of rumors circulating around what these upcoming cards would be. Initially I had thought that it would just be Volta based cards because that's the architecture that they've been talking about in their roadmaps for the past few years now. And we've already got a Titan Volta graphics card in the Titan V and it's already been around in Tesla cards since sometime mid 2017 or early 2017. So that's been out there for a while. So a lot of people had thought that the upcoming architecture would just be Volta GPUs. Although sometime in late 2017, we started seeing rumors circulating around AMP here, which I've covered on the channel in a couple of videos. And then just over the past week, we started to see another name surfacing called Turing, which was originally posted over on the Reuters website in a cryptocurrency mining article where they had very briefly mentioned the upcoming GPU from NVIDIA and called it Turing. And now we actually have confirmation of that naming scheme actually from Steve, over at Gamers Nexus, they just did an Ask GN that they had posted last night, and they had been asked about so, about them planting um, some kind of Easter eggs in some of their videos, which Steve replied to and actually confirmed that yes, they had intentionally planted uh, a sort of hidden message in one of their videos, and that the upcoming scheme will in fact be called the naming scheme should be called Turing. Quoting over uh, Steve from his video where he had initially kind of planted it in a video, he said, The primary concern from AIB partners is that they'll be left with overstock and with new architectures looming, basically referring to cryptocurrency mining. And he said, no touring test needed for that. Just kind of a quick offhand joke there, but... In reality, what he was actually doing was just kind of throwing that out there as the name Touring to let people know that maybe wanted to try to figure it out, that that would be the next NVIDIA graphics cards. And in the video, he further goes on to state that, yes, after talking with Add-in Board Partners, that the next lineup of GPUs will be called Touring, or graphics cards, I should say. However, we still have the names Ampere out there, and where did that come from? Was it just initially a code name for Touring, which is now actually being called Touring? And also, what about... Volta. Digital Trends as well as some other websites have started posting up that NVIDIA may be launching dedicated mining cards and that's what Touring might actually be. And Touring definitely does fit in with the naming scheme of NVIDIA graphics cards. Looking over the past few generations, we've had uh, Fermi, which is based on a mathematician. Pretty much all of their cards are based on mathematicians. So we've got Enrico Fermi for the Fermi GPUs. We've got Johannes Kepler for the Kepler graphics cards. We've got Maxwell, that was the 600 series. Blaise Pascal, and then now Alan Turing, who was not only a mathematician and a scientist, but also a cryptologist. So that has led some people to believe that the Turing cards may actually be for cryptocurrency mining, and then the Ampere lineup of cards would be for gamers. At least that's what they're, what they're talking about over on Digital Trends, and that would definitely go outside the norm for NVIDIA, as they usually are just working on one architecture, and then they put out several different cards for different, you know, different segments of the market for gamers, as well as the professional workspace with things like Tesla. So this would definitely be outside of the norm for NVIDIA, but I think also right now we are in a very unique situation where the landscape of the GPU market is not normal compared to what we've seen in the last 10, 20 years. It's completely changed and NVIDIA might just be adapting to go along with that. So now we've got Touring as well as Ampere and maybe Touring will be the dedicated mining cards, which seems to make a little bit more sense, at least in the naming because of... Uh, you know, Alan Turing and his working on cryptology and all of that. And if, for those not familiar with Alan Turing, he was a scientist for the British, a mathematician really, who was kind of credited for building one of the first computers, which actually helped to crack the Enigma code that the Nazis were using to encrypt all of their messages being sent back and forth during World War II. And because of the first computer that he built, they were able to crack that. So that kind of does sound in line with cryptocurrency mining if they do choose to go that route. But with Touring and Ampere, where does that really leave Volta? Because they're still referring to the upcoming GPUs as GV104, which in tradition, the second letter there would denote the actual architecture that they're using. So for GV104, that would be GeForce Volta 104. And just like with Pascal, it was GP for GeForce Pascal. For Maxwell, it was GeForce Maxwell or GM. So that's been their pretty traditional naming scheme. So if they are coming out with Pascal, with uh, I should say Touring and Ampere GPUs, why are they still calling them GV? 
or is Volta still the original base technology, but then they're just segmenting it out into these two different naming schemes. It's all very confusing, honestly, and there's still not still a lot that we don't know, and we really won't know, probably until GTC at the end of March when NVIDIA finally makes their announcement for these graphics cards. So it's just, like I said, it's very confusing, but I just wanted to throw all this information out there so that you're up to date on everything that's going on with these rumors, and so we can really discuss it down in the comments below. What do you think about this naming scheme? Do you think it's going to be called Volta still? Do you think there's going to be amp here for gamers and then touring for miners? Hopefully that would be the case because we really need something to come out right now that will help um, put GPUs out in the marketplace for everyone, for gamers as well as miners, because both parties are, you know, welcome to buy graphics cards. A customer is a customer at the end of the day, and anyone should be able to buy a graphics card no matter what they want to use it for. But there's no doubt that the shortage of cards being available in the market is hurting really both sides. Uh, miners as well as gamers are both having to pay through the nose for cards that really shouldn't cost as much as they are. So anything they can do to kind of combat that and give cards to miners that are better for mining and then cards to gamers that are better for what they want to do, I think will be a very good solution at the end of the day if it actually works out that way. There's also the possibility miners could buy up all those mining cards and then when they run out they just might switch to buying the gaming cards as well as the, unless there's some actual hardware based limitation in there that would really hurt the mining numbers and the hash rates and stuff on those GPUs. So all very interesting stuff to discuss so I do look forward to your guys comments down below. I'll be down there interacting with all of you throughout the day in the coming weeks so let me know what you think about this. Are you going to buy a Touring or Ampere based graphics card or Volta whatever the hell NVIDIA ends up naming it. Like I said, there's a lot going on, so a lot to think about over the course of about the next month and a half until we get final word on these. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on it down below and subscribe if you're not already, and I will catch you in the next video. Tara.